All right, today we're going to look at identifying a matrix. What do we want to call that? We're going to first start off by identifying this direction is the rows. So we have rows. In this direction, we have columns. You want to put those into your notes. That's going to be something you would not want to miss on a test. So it's easy to get the two confused. Um, do rows go left and right? Do rows go up and down? Rows are going to be the ones that go up and down. Columns are going to be left and right. The second thing that we're going to have is it's going to be rows by columns. So this is chapter 4, page 5. This is going to be number 1. If we have this one over here, we want to count this. The rows are going to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I just write a 4 by. This looks like a multiplication symbol. This is going to be by. So it's going to be rows by columns. So now we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 columns as well. So this problem you can't miss um, as long as you can count up to 4. So we will have 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are my rows. These are my columns. That is how we do problem number one. Another problem we're going to look at is going to be number three. So on this one, I don't have the same amount of rows and columns on this one. So these ones, you may be able to get more confused. We have 71, dot, 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 all the way down until number 78. So those are going to be my rows. We just want to count those. On the right, we have 44. We have 27, 16, 53, and 65. So I wrote all of the ones over here so we can just go through and count these. There's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I have 5, which are my rows. Remember, rows go up and down. This direction is rows. That's pretty much all they're asking you for on this page this direction are going to be my columns. So we have five rows, so put a five by two. This matrix is a five by two matrix. It's important to identify that, and that's how we're going to plug them into the calculator, but that's also what we're going to be calling the matrix. We are on chapter four, page eight. We're going to do a couple problems off of this little section right here. On this, they are giving us a new notation. This right here is telling me which matrix I have, so this would be matrix B. Along with that, we are given two numbers, the 2 and the 3. So I have this 2 right here. This is going to identify my amount of rows. The second number are going to be the number of columns. So what they're asking me to do is identify each element of the following matrix. So they tell me to look at matrix B, which would be the second one over here. This matrix is going to be a 2, because I have 2 rows, by 4. So it's going to be 2 by 4. But they're asking me to find in the second row the third column. So what I want to do is I want to go down two, one, two, and I want to go over three. One, two, three. So that's going to put me right here at the seven for the first one. So my answer for number four is just going to be seven. So we just look for the row. It tells me the second row, third column. That just identifies where I'm at. So we're going to go through and do two more of these. Let's do number nine and five. So we'll start with five. We're in row or matrix A, row 4, column 2. So I just count down 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Now I go over 2, 1, and 2. That gives me a value of 2. So my answer for number 5 is 2. Now we're going to look at number 9. So all of these are going to be done the exact same way. This one tells me second row, third column. That's going to be this negative 4. So I go down 2 rows, over 3 for my column. Number 9, lost my pen, 
is going to be negative 4. That would be my answer for that. So the other three of these are going to be done the same way. Two of those use B, those are 6 and 8. Number 7 uses A. These problems are all done in a similar manner. Right, so this problem right here is going to be pretty simple if we can get past the fact that it's a story problem. So we're going to look at story problems a lot this semester. The Algebra 2, the second half of this um, class, we'll look at story problems quite a bit. And now this one right here just asked me, the table at the right gives the ticker prices for a concert. So this is a pretty cheap concert, probably Michigan Theater, something like that. Ask me, write a 2x3 matrix that represents the cost of a ticket. So what we're going to do is we're going to start putting these into coordinates. We like the x's on one side, um, the y's on the other. So the cost of purchase in advance and cost of purchase at the door are going to be the x variables. Right, so we're going to start off just by drawing a matrix. This is going to be a 2 by 3. So we want to give ourselves correct spacing on this. We could do the bracket second, so we just write in all of our numbers. Right, so you guys might be thinking that part's easy. So now what do I do to answer this question? Well, that is the answer. So all we're doing here is we're looking for a matrix. So we're going to learn how to use the matrix in the upcoming section. This one's just identifying what a matrix is, how it's labeled, and how to create one. So this right here, we're just going to create one. We got 6, 12, 18. Those go in right here. 8, 15, and 22 are also right there. So we just go through, put this into a matrix, make sure we have our brackets around it, and we are all set for that problem.